Hey guys, so as you saw in our last video, um, we bundled the fenders and made them a bit wider. So um, in today's video, we are going to be painting it. So I have all the paint we're going to be needing right here. Um, we have the base coat and we have the clear coat and then we have the primer right here. Um, this is a special type of primer, it's a gray filler primer. It's meant to uh, cover up any holes that we don't see or might have in the uh, Bondo. So here we have a 600 grit sandpaper. That's what we're going to be using on the primer. So after the uh, after we primer, we're going to just hit it with some 600 grit and then we can start uh, pu putting in our base coat and then our clear coat. So um, as you can see, we have some water. This is like pretty warm hot water from our sink. So what I'm going to be doing is putting the clear coat in here and oops a little too much water <laughs> uh, i'm gonna put the clear coat in there and um, that way um, it'll cause less uh, orange peel in the paint when we uh, put the clear coat on so that's a little trick and um, let's just uh, go over here and show you guys how i masked everything so i masked the hood as you can see it's a pretty windy day but um you know we're gonna have to deal with that um, we got all the wheels pretty much masked off already. Um, got this side masked, hoods all masked. Really want to make sure that doesn't get painted. We have uh, inside the engine bays all masked as well. This side, that side. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty windy day, so um, it's not really the best time to be painting, but you know, I've been waiting a while to do this, so today's the day. So um, as you see here, we have a fan and we're going to be using that to just get any like debris out of the air and just making it uh, go towards outside instead of towards our paint. So um, what I'm going to do right now is uh, using, we're going to be using some, <clears throat> we're going to just uh, mass off the area around the fender with some paper and that paper is going to work to uh, give us a nice feathered uh, filler primer in there. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing now. And uh, I'm gonna have to tape that a little bit better. But um, yeah, guys. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got it all um, with the paper on there. So um, what we're going to be doing now is just uh, getting our first coat of primer. So that's exciting. <laughs> kind of nervous. I just want everything to look good. But um, I know this filler primer is going to do the trick just to make sure we get rid of any holes we don't see or just um, make it all look good. So let's get started with painting. Alright guys, so now that it's all dried, 
um, we're gonna put in the first coat of clear so hopefully it'll start looking a little better Alright guys, so as you can see we got all three coats of a uh, clear coat on. So what we're going to do now is just wait like an hour and uh, I'm going to take off all the tape, take everything out. So uh, we got everything all unmasked. So um, I'm going to get this light so you guys can see better. But yeah, that's pretty much how it looks right now. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, as you can tell, like it's very, very like shiny compared to the fender um the original fender but um you know it's paint matched pretty well i like how it came out um all we have to do now is um wet sand it or so we're gonna wait about like 24 48 hours we'll see um but we're gonna wet sand it and then give it a good polish and basically try to blend it into the panel well so that's what we're gonna be doing next but so far it came out really good i'll show you guys the other side as well Yep. So all that like dust that you see, that's just like clear coat and stuff. So um, that'll come out once we uh, polish it and stuff. But I don't want to remove it just yet, just because uh, this is like the good clear coat. So I don't want to like you know like mess anything up or like yeah. So we're just gonna wait. Mm -hmm. 